Good morning children of the Most High and welcome to another beautiful day. Today is Tuesday, April the 20th and our man of God would like to share a message entitled He wants you in health. Hallelujah. Our opening theme scripture is from the book of 3 John chapter 1 verse 2 and I read, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Hallelujah. Divine healing is one of the beginning stages of a greater life. Healing is wonderful, but there is a greater life than healing. God doesn't want you to live in the realm of getting healed from one sickness or the other every now and then. He wants you to come to a place of victory, hallelujah, where you understand divine health, which is greater than divine healing. You may say to me, Pastor Chris, I minister to people and they get healed. But when I have trouble in my body, I pray and do everything I know, but I do not get healed. It is simple. God never told you to pray for yourself to be healed. Just because it worked for you when you were a baby Christian doesn't mean you should go on like that. You may look up the book of Acts chapter 17 verse 30. This is the sad situation of a lot of Christians. They are even having a problem with getting healed when they shouldn't be sick in the first place. Our theme verse says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. It does not say, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be healed. He wants you in health. Hallelujah. God's plan for you is divine health. He doesn't want you suffering from headaches, colds and fevers. There should be no diabetes, stomach trouble or any such thing with you. Grab this truth and live by it. Hallelujah. If you have been falling in and out of sickness, say to yourself, I will never be sick another day in my life because the word of God guarantees my divine health. Hallelujah. If you experience any symptoms in your body, do not panic. Use the word. Keep yourself in health with God's word. It is medicine. Hallelujah. Proverbs 4 verse 22, referring to God's word says, For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Discipline your body to comply always with God's word. Transcend the level of needing healing to living every day in divine health. You are a new creature in Christ with the divine life, the very life of God. Hallelujah. How could you have that life and be subject to the elements? Walking in divine health is God's best for you. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this confession right after me. I am an associate of the God kind and I've got the indestructible life of God in me. I was born with the resurrection life that is beyond sickness and disease. Therefore, I walk in divine health every day. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, that confession, you can confess it every day, every single day. Hallelujah. And also to further grab today's message, kindly read and meditate on these following scriptures from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 11, the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 13, and the book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 24. Hallelujah. Don't forget to click the share button, subscribe, and tune in again tomorrow for another beautiful message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.